Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about long haul symptoms in a little bit more detail. The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is something that I call heart fatigue. Now I'm a metaphysician, which means that I work with the energies of the body as they relate to the actual tissues of the body. And so there's sort of the living bridge effect there where we're kind of bridging what is uh, medical, what is metaphysical, and what is maintenance and how to help you best do this. You have a part of you which is your energy body. How do you know that you have this energy body? Because you can sense things. And let me break it down and make it real simple. In some simple terms, you can sometimes sense the weather. You can sense the mood in a room. You can sense the atmosphere. You can sense things on a breeze, like a fire. Okay, we live by our senses, but there are parts of you that may feel like they're sort of dampened down and suppressed when you're a long hauler. You can lose your sense of taste and smell in addition to the fatigue. You're losing some of your energy, okay? I'm a person who prides myself on my work, which is to help shift people's energies get these areas sort of unblocked, you know, me, you know, if you think of it this way, if your energy's running along, maybe there's a traffic jam and we just need to clear up some of the traffic so that everything is running smoothly again. Now, this may sound simplistic to some people who have uh, done certain work like this, or it may be very new to some of you. For those of you who are new to this, welcome and please know i'm here to help and i'm here like the cavalry <laughs> so you know that's just a little joke but if we get back to losing your sense of taste and smell well these nerves go together for when you eat when you have an appetite when you smell things it's also associated with parts in your head so to give you an example with your senses you could be walking into someone's home and they've baked something lovely, but between what you smell and start developing a taste for it, your memory bank goes to maybe your grandmother and you're saying, oh my God, this smells just like grandma's house. And you have this whole rush of things going on. Now, the, at the opposite end, when you're a long hauler, some of that stuff starts to slow down and get fatigued and worn out. You may not be worn out. You may still want great memories and great experiences and tasting great food, but parts of your body need some recovery from something. They need recuperation and they need you to give permission for this, permission to recuperate. And also how to do it so that not only are you gaining that back, you're up leveling it because that's the whole point of what I do. I'm talking about super senses where you're able to detect nuances within foods, nuances within things you smell, smelling something here. And then, you know, you could be at a barbecue and you could be smelling, you know, some food being prepared and yet you can also smell the flowers of the garden, right? How do you do that? How do you have these multi-layered experiences? Well, you're not just a simple being. You are a person who has multiple facets to yourself and most of those are fascinating. And discovering the side of yourself is something that I actually pride myself on doing with people. Because when we meet and then we meet again a week later, people tell me their experiences and it is fabulous. They're having fabulous flat out experiences while they're shifting and while they're up leveling. They're dream time shifts, okay? So let's get back to some of the symptoms. What are, you know, if we enumerate the symptoms, they're things like brain fog. Well, you have your senses and your memories in there. This is a part of it. Not that you wanna have brain fog, but it kind of goes with the territory of being a long hauler. You have um, heart issues. You may feel like your heart is racing. 
and then your heart is tired and I mean you could have a heavy heart you walk around heavy hearted and world weary and everything just seems to weigh on you and it's a real feeling and there's other things that go with it do you have heart palpitations if so, I do recommend that you get them checked. And this is where we bridge medical to metaphysical, to the medical to your energy body. You need the medical to ascertain that the tissues of your body are healthy and they have tests to do this. I know this because I've done the test. I wore a heart monitor. I've done the blood work. I have the answers, okay? And the answers are such that a certain percentage of the population does truly have this. Is it life-threatening? Not necessarily. You could be on the low incidence side, but the point being that you've gone and checked it and you don't stay in a mode of fear because it's so much more advanced now. So let's say it's not life-threatening. What would my work do? Well, we work on the heart chakra. Your heart chakra is sort of an energy portal and it's located right outside your chest but it's anchored deep into the tissues of the chest at the pericardium is one of them if you're skipping or you're having an arrhythmia a palpitation these are things that you know they're aware of and you may be aware of i was aware of mine i just called it heart jiggling okay but if you develop other symptoms, then it's time to really check it and see how healthy are you, okay? If you have other mitigating factors, such as lifestyle, such as smoking or drinking alcohol or, you know, some other addiction, and many things can be an addiction. You know, some people get addicted to having arguments with people because they need that adrenaline to keep going. Well, guess what it does to your body? like woo 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 every single day do you have symptoms that get worse after physical effort and you feel like your heart is laboring okay like you brought up the laundry from the basement but it feels like you toted a barge along the volga river right and you're saying my god in heaven what's going to happen in another 10 years another 20 years am i going to survive this Yes, because I have a plan, and with my plan, there is an outline of how do you do this, okay? And it goes along with the nerves of your body because there are things that are special about your nerves that they can do. They not only sense, they offer the, the motor impulses for movement, okay? They detect things. They help regulate electrolytes and all kinds of stuff, okay? You don't need a biology degree to, you know, do this in the class. We're going to get you moving, we're going to get you breathing, and we're going to get you feeling what you're supposed to feel like. Um, some of the other things, difficulty uh, thinking, concentrating, uh, trouble falling asleep, you may have this happen where you get really tired in the afternoon, and, and you're just wiped, you're out of energy, you're, you're out of gas, you're just depleted. And then somehow, eight, nine o'clock, when you should be winding down, you're, you're, you have energy. Or you get woken up at night, but it leaves you tired but wired. You're, you're working on nervous energy, and yet you're tired because you're fatigued. Because there's parts of you that are truly not getting the proper energy and rest that they need. And it's deep. So this is also part of my specialty is that we get it deep. We get it deep inside. Other symptoms such as digestive symptoms, poor appetite. You want to eat, you know you want to eat or you want to gorge on something, but it's not satisfying or you have no appetite, no enthusiasm, you don't even know what you want to eat, yet you know you need to eat in order to stay alive. And then you're saying, what should I eat? This made me sluggish. That made me sluggish. I'm out of ideas. Or you even drink water and it makes you feel full. What's that all about? Well, this has a lot to do with the upper gastro system, which actually is 
right below the areas we're talking about. So we've got, you know, zone one here, and then we've got heart chakra energy, and then you do have those parts of you. This is where a lot of people have problems. They have gastric reflux, the beginnings of irritable bowel. They have digestive metabolic issues. Their organs don't talk to each other. The spleen and the pancreas don't talk to each other. So they're, they're a little out of balance one way or the other. They can be pre-diabetic or pre-hypoglycemic. They also have um, issues with the liver. Now, not only that, there's emotions involved. You know, you could be in a mood. You could be irritable. You could feel very short-tempered. You could feel flat out like you don't even want to talk to people. It is at both extremes. And rather than your pendulum swinging this way and then swinging that way, we are all about bringing you into a state of balance so that you're able to maintain properly, okay? Because once you start getting better, you want to climb that mountain and you want to have a better life. You want to feel healthier. You want to feel like it's behind you and you put it in your rearview mirror. There are things that um, may happen with your sleep too. Really weird dreams, restless sleep, waking up. This is not normal insomnia. This also will have to do with the centers of inside your head that manage that and how that too also needs not just refreshing, but let's call it a reboot and upgrade.